How are you doing today, my friends? Mr. Green here, and we're going to get this actuator put onto the snowplow. Um, uh, it is a 12 inch stroke. I know many people are going to ask that. It's a 12 inch stroke. Um, so, what I've been working on is mounts for it. So, I just made uh, these are for the back, and this is for the front that's going to attach to the plow. And uh, so, the, this is going to fit in just like this, like so. There'll be two attached on the back side and two attached up front here. Uh, there you go, you can see it right there. So I'm gonna get these mounted on here and then we'll have to uh, grind down, we'll have to grind down uh, the metal on there and then uh, I'm gonna run to the store and grab a bolt that is long enough to go through this and through the three quarter inch, uh, inch and three quarter inch tubing, and uh, and then I'll probably still tack weld it here and here, just to uh, make sure it's extra secure. But uh, and then we'll get into wiring it all in. So we'll be back here in a minute. Okay, guys. Well, I've got it uh, in place now where it's going to go. Uh, now I just need to weld this this little tab on over here and this one here and then the the actual cylinder will have to, or will be installed um, I had to nip a little bit off of here to get clearance which isn't a big deal um, and it's almost this is about how far it's gonna go over there'll be that much of a gap between there and there uh, on this side and then on the other side there it actually uh, comes close to here and I'm gonna actually put a little bumper here so that when I'm plowing and it, it, if this hits there then uh, I have nothing to worry about it's not gonna ruin anything and you'll see what I mean later on but uh, alright I'm gonna get these welded on here and uh, and then we'll wire this thing up okay so now the little brackets are all welded on there's one there and then there's one welded on there so I'll get the uh, the cylinder in and then we'll start wiring. Okay so I got the battery temporarily set up in there and because I got to get this back over to the other side so I can work on it but uh, so we'll see how it turns. It's not very fast, but I don't turn it that often, so... Okay, so they're straight. And I need, I want to test how strong this is going to be when it has pressure against it. Um, so, as you can tell, I can bend the whole plow. And it's not budging this thing. Uh, it's going to take some abuse, but we'll see. If it uh, can handle it, you can upgrade these and get a more heavy duty one. And if I end up doing that, I end up doing that. But uh, so we'll give this a shot like it is. And we'll have to, if we have to change, we do. So, anyways, uh, we'll get this wired all up now. Uh, drill my hole here and then we'll feed them down the arms. Okay guys, I've got it all wired up now. I didn't take you through it because you wouldn't be able to see anything anyways. But I uh, got my controller, my box and everything all right here. Everything is all nicely tied together. Uh, my power wires run down along the bottom there. Uh, up the arm and down all the way down to the end there and then it goes in there and then through the back of the plate right there and uh, 
So now I can stand away from it. And there we go. She turns. Right on. And that should come almost all the way to that. Boom, right there. That's uh, exactly what I wanted. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with the way that turned out. Now we'll see if it stands up over time. And uh, I can do a little update video later on to let everybody know. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's just with the little handheld controller, key fob. And then I have uh, the big one that's going to go on the tractor. So. All right, everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. And uh, yeah, please remember to subscribe. And as always, if you click that thumbs up button, it would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.